With the development of artificial intelligence, depth cameras have been fully applied in fields such as autopilot, human-computer interaction, facial technology, 3D reconstruction, robots, and R. Today I will share some knowledge about depth cameras. What is a depth camera? In fact, depth camera is a camera that calculates depth information through stereo image sensing technology. It measures the distance from an object to the camera. This is also the biggest difference between it and ordinary cameras. The ordinary camera is called a 2D camera, which can only capture objects within the camera's perspective. It can only judge the distance of objects through semantic analysis of images. Without clear data, depth camera, also known as 3D camera, can obtain distance information between objects and the camera. So it's actually very useful. We can calculate 3D coordinates of each point in the image by adding the X, Y axis coordinates of the 2D plane and the depth Z axis coordinate obtained by the depth camera. With this, we can develop many applications, such as 3D reconstruction of real scenes, augmented and virtual reality autopilot, facial scanning, etc. For example, the face unlocking method on mobile phone, that is to use a depth camera to perform 3D face scanning. But these camera on mobile phone belong to 2D camera. Both depth cameras and LiDAR are sensors used to obtain distance information. What is the difference between depth cameras and LiDAR? In the field of tracking and following, depth cameras usually show greater advantages because they can capture the shape, contig and relative distance of objects, thereby achieving more accurate tracking and following of targets. In contrast, LiDAR can only follow objects at a fixed distance from it and cannot track specific objects. Depth camera can obtain environmental distance information. LiDAR can't do that. LiDAR has greater advantages in mapping and obstacle avoidance scenarios. It has a 360-degree detection capability, but the detection range of a depth camera is limited by the field of view. Depth cameras and LiDAR are not mutually exclusive options, but can be used together to obtain a more comprehensive environmental awareness. For SLAM robot, a variety of sensors are usually used in combination to obtain environmental information, realize 3D mapping, navigation, and obstacle avoidance. Currently, there are three mainstream depth cameras, structured light depth cameras, binocular stereo depth cameras, and TOF depth cameras, structured light depth camera. This kind of camera obtains the 3D structure of the photographed object through optical means, and is divided into two categories, monocular structured light and binocular structured light. The advantage of structured light technology is that it uses active light sources, so it can also be used at night. Within one meter, short-range measurement accuracy can reach millimeter-level accuracy. Therefore, it can be used in close-range 3D face scanning, 3D reconstruction, robot 3D mapping navigation, etc. Monocular structured light camera include Orb Orchestra series. Binocular structured light camera include Intel RealSense series, Orb Gemini series. Binocular stereo depth camera. The binocular stereo depth camera is based on the principle of parallax and uses imaging equipment to obtain two images of the measured object from different positions to obtain the 3D geometric information of the object. The working principle is similar to that of human's eyes. The main advantages of binocular cameras are that they have low hardware cost, rely on natural light, and can be used indoors and outdoors. However, it is greatly affected by external light, and the visual matching algorithm is relatively complex. Currently, they are mostly used in the field of scientific research, such as unmanned vehicles and collaborative robotic arms, such as Stereolabs Z series, TOF depth cameras. This type of camera calculates distance by emitting continuous pulses of light, reflecting them off a target and recording the time of flight of the returned light. The measurement range is far away, up to 100 meters. The depth distance calculation does not change with the change of distance and is stable at the centimeter level. Compared with the structural light technology, TOF is more suitable for dynamic scenes. The accuracy is poor, and the accuracy for short distance applications is not as good as structured light. Currently, it is mostly used in fields such as unmanned driving, larger scene 3D modeling, industrial automation and other fields, such as Orbic Z series. In addition, in order to adapt to the needs of posture estimation, motion capture, image stabilization needs of somatosensory games, some depth cameras will also integrate a 6-axis IMU to obtain the rotation and movement of 3-axis. In general, 
Compared with traditional 2D cameras, depth cameras can obtain 3D coordinate information of objects and are of great value in multiple application fields. The three types of cameras we mentioned today each have their own advantages and applicable scenarios. Currently, structured light depth cameras are most commonly used in indoor robots and scientific research and education robots.